Our entire universe is composed of matter and chemistry is the science that studies the composition and structure of this matter and the various changes it undergoes. Chemistry is the branch of science that looks at individual atoms, how they bond to create chemical compounds and the interaction and reactions that occur to form different substances. Think of matter as anything that occupies space from what you would have learned. So basically chemistry is what we use in our everyday lives. What you'd use in the kitchen, your detergents, what you'd use driving your car, that is also chemistry. So chemistry is, is, is basically our lives every day. We can think of chemistry in terms of everything that's going on around us. So any sort of living organism is alive because it's got continuous chemical reactions taking place inside it. Um, any things which are around us have actually got, they are made of matter. They are fundamentally uh, have been created by chemistry. The periodic table of elements is a fundamental tool in chemistry that has been described as a concise, information-dense catalogue of all the different atoms in the universe. Without this information, we won't be able to predict the types of chemical reactions that can occur. For instance, a reaction as small as a burning match to much larger reactions. If we think about a lot of the developments we see that have enabled modern life as we know it, if we think about medicines or electronics, anything like that, all of those things are actually underpinned by chemistry. So all of the advances in medicine are actually largely underpinned by chemistry. The synthesis of new drugs, uh, that is all actually done by chemists. They're administered by doctors, of course, but they're actually the research that's gone into that is done by chemists. Chemistry has made a huge impact in our world in the sense that um, if you go to agriculture where they plant the food that we eat, chemistry forms a very important part in that the fertilizers that are used to fertilize our fruits, our vegetables, our raw materials that are later processed is because of chemistry. Your nitrogen is an important factor in, that, in the manufacturing of your, your fertilizers. Not only that, you think of anything else that's happening around us, your cars, moving cars, the petrol that you use there, that is because of chemistry. The Department of Chemistry at the University of KwaZulu-Natal aims to continue the tradition of excellence by pioneering discoveries and advancing chemical research while at the same time incorporating many of these successes into the educational program. The areas of research within the department spans far and wide and ranges from medicinal chemistry, green chemistry and materials science to synthetic chemistry among many others. Chemistry at UKZN, we start off with um, our first year modules where we just do your general chemistry. So that is a general broad chemistry of your introduction to chemistry. As we move on to second year, that's where we become more discipline specific. So you'll do your organic, you'll do your inorganic, you'll do your physical chemistry, you'll do your analytical chemistry. That is how it builds up to third year, where of course now you become more advanced in certain disciplines. So you'll know more in your organic chemistry, you'll know more in your inorganic chemistry. So the higher you go from first year to third year, that's when you become more advanced in the things that you learn. After that, we start to move into the honors and our postgraduate studies. That's where it becomes a lot more interesting. Uh, that's where you'll actually start to do your own research. So even as part of an honors project, you will actually do your own unique project and you will start to, for the first time, actually create new knowledge and actually develop new areas um, of interest and you will actually be able to carry on with those. Hi, my name is Otto Gonyela. I'm doing my PhD in chemistry, specializing in organic chemistry at UKZN. My love for chemistry started when I was growing up way back. I used to love watching cartoons. And then one of the cartoons that stood out from the rest was Pinky and the Brain. Later when I was growing up, the HIV and AIDS was very rife. People were dying. And fortunately for me, being surrounded by activists, I also wanted to make a difference. And the only way I knew how was to go back and become like, like the brain, to find the solutions in the lab. Wow, my experience at UKZN is very much amazing. Uh, you, you get exposed to many things. You develop, they really develop you for the outside environment, the working environment. Uh, as you all know, uh, UKZN is number one in chemistry, physics, and maths in, in South Africa. So they say that to be the best, you must learn from the best. And UKZN is the best. 
to study chemistry at UKZN, a minimum APS score of 28 points is required with maths, English, life orientation, and either physics, life sciences, or agricultural sciences. Visit our website for more information.